Thanks for uh, taking the time out of your day to check this out. And today I'm going to be talking about growing your Instagram. One of the questions that I had last week uh, from someone on Facebook was about growing your Instagram account ethically and if using Instagram shout out pages was a wise idea. So there's a lot of those pages out there. And one thing that you have to keep in mind when you're using those pages to grow your page is the audience that's built around that page. So what I told this person is if they're gonna be using you know shout out pages, it's good to take a look at if it fits your niche. Now for vanity's sake, for the metrics, for the numbers, I mean, yeah, you could end up getting, you know, a plump amount of thousand followers on there, but if they're all, you know, horny guys wanting to check out your content, if it's gonna be you posting thongs and booty shots and whatever, you know, is that gonna be beneficial to your brand? And if you're going to be monetizing your Instagram profile, if you sell programs, if you're trying to reach women, if you're trying to reach an older demographic, will that help? Will that really help you? Um, so you really have to investigate on that. And not only with that, if it fits your niche, is that a lot of these pages will you know, inbox you, they'll DM you, they'll offer you know, packages and you know, post up your photo for you. But you really wanna take a look at the engagement that's going on on their page as well. You really need to investigate the ratio of likes and comments to the amount of followers that they have. And especially some of these pages, you know, if they've got over 300,000 followers and a video only has, you know, 5,000, 2,000 views, that's a telltale sign right there. A lot of the times I'll get messaged by these pages and I'll just go and investigate them and I'll look and, you know, the photo will only have four comments, but they have over 100,000 followers. So there again, um, a lot of these pages can be legit but you really have to investigate to find out, you know, if it is a legit one or if it's one that's just built, you know, the same way with bots and followers um, that is gonna be really deceiving as well and you're gonna waste your money on that too. So if you're gonna be doing it that way, it's great to have the Kick app. Uh, a lot of these pages use Kick or just to DM them uh, to, you know, find out their prices and everything else like that after you've, of course, gone and investigated into that if they're a fit for you. Now. There are two sites that um, I've used before in the past, and you can find uh, your niche in here, if it's for travel, if it's for food, if it's for fitness, if it's for cars. Uh, one of them is plughype.com, and the other one is get social, I just have it right here, getsocialpost.com, and I actually met these guys uh, in San Diego at the Fitness Business Summit, and there's a really great group of guys around here that really uh, due diligent work with their uh, pages that they have on here too that do shout outs. So those are two um, websites that you can check out and of course purchase uh, shout outs on there as well. Another option that might be a little bit more budget wise, if you have um, you know, a pretty good network and you've got a, a decent following, you might wanna reach out to other you know, fitness friends or people in the same industry that have a decent following that you're kind of around the same numbers and you might want to message them and do a shout for shout. Uh, I've known a lot of profiles that have done this. They've done it a little bit more aggressively and this is something maybe you want to keep in mind that you're not doing shout for shouts almost daily because it gets a little much in, uh, in the timeline for your regular followers to keep seeing you shouting out pages days after day after day. But you might want to reach out to those people and do a shout for shout like that to help grow each other's pages and then that way you know what kind of um, audience that they have and you know that you'll be attracting the right audience to your page as well. So in that case, you never really wanna be the reacher with that. So if you have 5,000, 10,000 followers and this person has 80,000, 100,000 followers, they may not be too willing to do that for you because it's not gonna really benefit them as much. So you might wanna pick someone that's in a closer range of followers to you to ask them to do that for you. And you know, you always want to provide value with that and you know, you always want to make sure that you're on good rapport with them first before you reach out. Just going there as a um, just in dry, you know, it may not be the best idea to do that. So, as far as using uh, shout out pages and shout for shouts to grow your Instagram profile, 
it is definitely an, an ethical way to do so, but you just really have to be careful and investigate if it's the proper niche, if the pages are legit and not full of bots, and again, how much money you're gonna be spending on that. So if you do set aside some money for you know, social media marketing, always investigate um, and shop around, and you can almost always negotiate with these guys too for the price for the post as well and how long it's gonna stay up. So yes, I will post those two websites down below in the comments for you guys. Of course, as always, if you have any questions or if you need more help with your social media and building your community um, organically, and if you have any questions, always feel free to email me or send me a message. The email is socialempireonline at gmail, and I'll have that posted down below in the comments too for you guys. That's it, not gonna take up any more of your time. Thanks for tuning in.